Alright guys, um, I don't really know how to start this video. I am not going to be angry, I'm not going to be pissed, because uh, honestly, I was just numb to it. I think this rest of the season is just going to be just giving off a dump off, um, you know, of my takeaways on, you know, what, what I saw and what I can take away from it. Um, so yeah, I want to give a shout out to the Steelers, give a shout out to Steel Twin, shout out to Yinzer Mac, shout out to... Uh, Ritwick, Jai Poriar, shout out to Kevin Zhang, shout out to Photo, shout out to every single Steelers fan that I follow or they follow me. Um, you guys are pretty classy for the most part, and um, I appreciate that. You know, obviously this is like outside of like Reds, Bengals, Buckeyes, Cavs. I think Steelers fans are probably like my most followed. Um, you know, like the most fo most followers that are, are fans of those teams. So shout out to you guys. But um, yeah, our season's pretty much over, man. I, I don't really know what to say. I was upset, very upset early because it's like I still had hope in the balance that we could win this game. Uh, but we didn't. And um, I can't say I'm surprised because, you know, if I was surprised, I'd be like m more emotionally like invested. But A, it's drained. I went to the game at Ohio State yesterday and I'm still drained from like just the obviously the loss, but also just it was so cold and my voice is kind of messed up. But I mean... I, regardless, man, I'm just too numb to the Bengals right now. Um, you know, they're 4-8. and eight. They're just not a good team this year. This is not their year, and, you know, if fortunes were reversed, you could say there's a different thing. But the fact that so much bad luck and just so many, you know, reversible outcomes are favoring the Bengals, it just shows the kind of bad luck that we have um, this season. It's just not our year, man. So I've just come to terms with it, and... Um, you know, it sucks because I really wanted this team to be very competitive and potentially make another run with a healthy Joe. But, you know, he was kind of off today as well. But honestly, regardless of that, I'm just going to get into it. But, man, coaching, coaching, coaching. I, I will say, my, I'll have my OSU Michigan recap out tomorrow. I will say Zach and Lou, as bad as they were, Ryan Day was even worse. But anyway, this is about Zach and Lou. But no really adjustments, man. Uh, Zach and Lou, none of them. I mean, their defense, like... This was, like, as the fourth quarter. I think this is over 100. But they gave up 362 yards at the time where I saw. But, I mean, like, regardless, I just didn't see any adjustments. I mean, they would do dink and dunks, the Steelers would, and then we just wouldn't adjust on defense. I mean, Russell Wilson had himself a good day game. He had some great, excellent throws. And, you know, they, they just got separation. And, um, you know, that's a testament to how bad our defense is, but... Give them some credit. Um, Najee Harris really stepped up. Always been, always respected him. You know, one of the few Steelers that I really do respect. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's some. You know, as a whole, man, I mean, that's this. When I say I don't like like the Steelers or like respect this them, I'm I'm talking about the franchise as a whole. So I I don't want to like I, I don't hate anybody on this current team like you know right now. I mean, I have a lot of respect for guys like Najee Harris. Uh, obviously, Russell Wilson, he's my, one of my favorites of all time. Um, so, you know, they all had some, they're, they're themselves a really good game. So, I mean, tip your cap to them. But our defense didn't do us any favors. I mean, there was some key stops they got. But for the most part, it was just, it was not a good, not a good day for the defense. And very glaring holes are present. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it right now. So, you know, the front office and the coaching staff is just going to continue to get flat because we're not doing a roster change. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the offense still, I mean, they played outstanding, but they could have done a little better, but, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, man, it's just not our year. I'm too numb to this, really, to, like, be upset about it. Like, all right, I mean, the way, I'm still upset, but the way I'm upset is just a little different now. Um, and, you know, honestly, man, Duke Tobin has gotten a lot of flack as well. I, I, we need to see something. Like, I know that we can't, we don't have, like, a breath of fresh air right now because it's not free agency period. Um, just, I don't know. I mean, lack of urgency. I, I, I've sound like a broken record when I say this. The Bengals just don't, they just don't have the, they don't just don't have it, um, right now. And, you know, how many times did we all say, and, you know, a lot of Bengals fans, I, I, I felt like the team was good enough to make a run, but how many times did some people say, like, there's some holes there and we did nothing to fix it when they knew their cornerback room was not good enough, the safety room, the, you know, the D-line. Hubbard, Sam Hubbard, he didn't he, he didn't do anything today. I mean, he's been quiet all season. 
It's just it's just infuriating. Losing to a rival like the Steelers, I mean, I hate it, but at this point, I'm just too numb to it. It's it's, it's just, this team has kind of beaten me up, and it's kind of made it harder to do these videos. Like, I, I've kind of had the passion not to want to do it, but at the end of the day, man, I'm still here. Um, and I like making it for you guys, um, even though, you know, I ramble sometimes, but, you know, I always like coming on here and giving my thoughts, uh, even though it's very difficult. Uh, but, I mean, going back to the Bengals, man, just no opportunity. I mean, we just couldn't stop. I mean, TJ Watt had a bounce back game. He's been quiet a little bit this season, but, you know, now they've called his name again in this game big time. Cam Hayward, you know, it felt like he let that OSU loss yesterday. He let all the anger out in that whole, in his, uh, in the same state. So, I mean, changes are needed. You know, the coaches, the front office, the rosters, um, you know, we deserve better, man. I, we're four and eight. We deserve so much better. And the way we're losing this just really makes it gut wrenching and it hurts. But honestly, you just got to expect it at this point because, you know, that Ravens game was gut wrenching. The, the, the Chargers game was just absolutely gut wrenching. This game was also very, you know, we blew it. We were up, you know, 21 14, and then, yeah, it just fell apart. So. Yeah, that's my final message. My final takeaways, guys, is to take, they play like trash. You got to treat them like trash fans. I mean, you can't hold their hand, sing kumbaya with them. Like, they, they, they're they professionals, and they get paid to do this shit. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't sympathize with them. I can't feel bad for them. They don't deserve it. Um, but they're... They, they, they may be a talented team, but they don't, they don't, they don't play like it. They play like trash. So you got to treat them like trash. Um, you know, lost to an AFC North rival at home. It's just not, not, not going to cut it. I mean, it's been too many times. We got swept by the Ravens. The Steelers are going to take their turn, but still shout out to, you know, shout out to the Steelers and, you know, all the fans that follow me, but yeah, I'm uh, very depressed, but you know, like I said, Cavs played the Celtics tonight. The Bengals season is done. Um, focus on the Cavs. You know, they play the Celtics tonight. I can't wait. I'm sick, you know, that the Bengals season's over because I really want good football. Uh, but Mich Michigan, Ohio State, as I said, his recap is going to be out tomorrow. You guys have a great one. Enjoy whether you're going to be watching football today or not. I'm not personally. I'm going to just I'll have an eye maybe here and there, but I really don't. I really don't feel like it. I'll, my focus is on the Cavs. So, yeah, as far as Bengals, Steelers, guys, that's my recap. You know, it's more of a Bengals kind of, you know, kind of letting it out a little bit. Not It's not really covering the game because if I want to talk about the game, I can tell you the defense was trash. Russell Wilson and them, they found their rhythm. And um, that was that. But we'll see what happens, man. We got a long off season ahead of us. I'll say this until the cows come home. Yeah, that's it. But, yeah, Bengals lose 44-38 to the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. This is their third straight time of beating us. And, um, yeah, they're now 15 of 19. They're the one 15, 15, they're 15 and 4 in their last 19 games against the Cincinnati Bengals. So depressing. But true. Ohio takes two L's this weekend, and uh, they could have a third one tomorrow with the Browns. But hopefully the Cavs can get us, you know, some some happiness, man. So, Buckeyes and Bengals, they lose, but I'll have the Buckeyes one out tomorrow. Bengals lose. I'm not happy, but what can you do, man? You guys take care.